Hi, I'm Callum Delieto here for Media Spotlight UK and today we're here at Grosvenor House for the Caldwell Children's Charity event, the Butterfly Ball 2016. And uh, we're going to be seeing some great celebrities here, Gabrielle, All Saints, all confirmed to be performing. And in the theme of All Saints, we're going to ask people what they never ever have done. We've got the app, we're going to test them on the red carpet and let's see what they say. Firstly, you look absolutely lovely. Thank you very much, thank you. Are you looking forward to this evening? Very much so, yeah. I can't wait to see everything to do with this, this evening, just how much work the charity's been doing. Obviously, the entertainment, the auction. I'm very excited about everything. How are you finding this evening? Why is the charity this evening so important to you? Because it's an amazing cause to get behind. I've had the opportunity to meet some of the children, and they are so inspiring. And just being able to see what this charity achieves for them, it's phenomenal and so I, 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 was, I couldn't say no. I think anything where you know, children are supported is very important to me. I'm a mum myself you know, and God forbid if my Freddie was to get sick I would want to think that he would be in the best possible hands and so it's very important for me to support children's charities. Obviously some of the acts performing tonight include All Saints, are you looking forward to that? Oh, well they're on really late. And I've got to be up for work in the morning, so I don't know, it's a school night. Oh. Probably. Cut to like 10 hours later, I'm like, and the last was to leave the party. I love the All Saints. But at the moment, the plan is to be home by midnight, but we'll see. Things always change. All Saints are performing tonight. Yes. Yeah. Never, Sorry, ever did. have ever felt so low. When I'm forget, I was going to say, forget All Saints, you know. You just I think me and Bobby could be the next, what should we call us, the wrong signs? Oh, what's the <laughs> next factor? We're coming for you. We love it. Come and see yeah. Sharon Osborne. Yeah. Firstly, you look lovely. Thank you. I did before my friend sat next to me with tan on, on in the car. Devastated. I look like I've been tangoed. <laughs> you, you know what? You should get her out here cleaning your dress. I should, actually. It's, I should. It was my friend's mum, actually, but... <laughs> it's fine, it's not noticeable until you point it out. Yeah, I'm not bothered. As long as the lashes are on, the hair's done. That's all that matters. We're not bothered about down there. Tonight is, you know, there's a few headline acts, including All Saints, an old girl band that have come back around. So, could you ever see S Club coming back around? Well, we did the tour um, a year ago, which I can't believe is a year ago. So, um, that New music? Was, oh, new music. Um, there's no plans, but you know, you know, you never know. And what's the rapport like between you guys still? I mean, do you keep in touch, all of you? Um, well, Tina just had her, her baby uh, a few days ago, which is so lovely. So I messaged her. So we do keep in contact, and we'll support each other. In, um, but I, I haven't seen them for ages since, since the tour. But I'm so happy for Tina. It's such lovely news. So I hear you've got some new music on the pipeline. Is there any collaborations or anything? That you're no, not on this album. Not, not as of yet. Um, I would love. There are a few people I love to duet with, um, maybe in the future, but I think as my third album, I'd like to do a trilogy of albums with no, no features, um, unless it's Gabrielle. Who's here tonight? Who's here tonight? Earlier, we were speaking to Simon Webb from Blue, yeah. and uh, we said, you know, about new music, etc., yeah. etc. He said he would love yeah. to sample some of your music. I mean, I love, I love Blue, I love Simon Webb, so hell yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's going to happen. I mean, that's if he wants to, he can. That's an exclusive right there. A lot of people. <laughs> Talking of All Saints, obviously one of their number ones was Never Ever. Yeah. Have you ever played Never Have I Ever? Of course I have. If you hadn't said yes to that, I would have been severely disappointed. Of I have. Yeah, I think I played it last night. No, I didn't really. You're about to play it now. Um, okay. okay. Never have I ever watched an entire series, um, a TV series in 24 hours. Oh no, I have binge watched all the time. <laughs> 24, Prison Break. Oh, and my last one was Banshee. Ah. Banshee. Yeah, yeah. So you're a binge watcher. No, I'm a binge watcher, it's really bad. Never have I ever been fired from a job. Yes, I have been. What happened? Um, Who would fire you? I was working for a fashion company and I wanted another job. Um, and I took a sickie and went to the other interview and I got, I got caught. Never have I ever pretended to be sick to go home. I have. Care to elaborate? Many times, even at school, like, oh, I don't want to do French. Miss, I'm really poorly. Oh, look, I'm so ill. I have to go see the nurse. Can I go home, please? Yeah, I have. Never have I ever lied about your age. Yes, I've lied about my age plenty of times. <laughs> yeah? A girlfriend, I remember my ex-girlfriend, she was 19 and she went, how old are you? I was like, 17. And she was like, 
How old? She says, if you say you're 19, I believe you. I was like, yeah, I'm 19. So is that a lie? That's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Posted a picture on social media to make another person jealous. Yes. Explain. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had you then. You were like, uh, and you're like, no, no. I think we've got, I think women, women all do that. Oh, I'm having fun here. Hang on. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. Eaten during sex. No. I have got peckish ones. I'm not going to lie. I love my food. I'm a food girl. Me ducked. Well, there was, there was some food on the side. And I went, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> it was with an ex. It wasn't with James. Oh, I love it. I was going to say, you know, ordering a pizza or something during it, that, that might be a bit awkward. Yeah. It was a temptation. It was probably better than the... <laughs> yeah, you went on the counter, Domino. It was extra garlic and uh, thank you. Never have I ever failed a class. Failed a what? A class at school. I failed? Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> was it a particular subject? Loads. <laughs> you said, I just didn't like school. No, it's not for me, really. Cheated on a test or an exam? Oh, probably. Haven't we all? No, never. Never have I ever, no. Yeah, of course I have. I used to copy spelling tests sometimes. Okay, so well, spelling, spelling's a weak point. No, no, actually spelling's a really good point, but um, sometimes I just, you know, just check I got it right. But then you might check and they've got it wrong and then you change your answer and then it's all, oh, you go down. The lesson is guys don't cheat is probably what we're, we're learning here. Yes, I've definitely cheated on a testing exam. I once wrote, I shouldn't say this, should I? No, but Don't do it. I once wrote the answers all along my wrist, along here, and I got completely busted, thrown out the exam, didn't get the grade in the end, so, you know. Well, there's a very small wrist, so, I mean, it must have been a short exam. I love him. Uh, thank you. Thank you for saying I've got small wrists. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you for saying you're enjoying yourself. At least you didn't say anything else was small, thanks. <laughs> Never have I ever fainted. Oh, yeah, I'm anemic. So I have a lack of iron to the anemics out there. Um, so I've taken iron tablet every day and there was a period when I didn't actually know why I kept fainting. I've got really low blood pressure and I'm anemic, yeah. It's been scary. Very scary. Yeah, it was in the middle of a restaurant and I was on my first date. Oh no. Mm. That was your first date? My first date, not with James. No, again, <laughs> I put it out there, not with James. But yeah, I was on a date once and I fainted in an Italian restaurant. How did your date react? Didn't go on a second date, put it that way. <laughs> they probably thought she was after the kiss of life. That's where yeah. crafty acts. Yeah. Like, oh, I fainted. Yeah. No, no, it was really, no, it was really embarrassing. They called the ambulance over in the restaurant. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm, yeah, awkward. Oh, what a have you ever fainted? Well, I don't think I have fainted, actually. Not that I recall. I don't remember it if I have. So, no, I've never been a fainter. You basically, your game I have never. I've done everything. Yeah. <laughs>